Hey, how are you? We are at, uh, what's the name of this place again? Uh, it's called um, Rom Hoop Market. Rom Hoop Market. And um, it's known as being one of the most dangerous markets in the world because uh, if you can see it, we're on some train tracks. Woo! The Bundle Express! I am so close to getting biffed. Jesus Christ! Whoa! Whoa, that's weird. The train just plows through about four times a day and all the stalls, everybody who's on the tracks now, they pack it up in five minutes. Oh, they're closing up shop. Train comes through. Jeez Louise. There she blows. Picks up people. Anybody up here need trotas? Happy to do a run. We got a couple stalls outside slanging them. I'm happy to do it. I just charge an extra five baht. Not the chick in the Yankees hat. She's going dry. Once it leaves, it's back to business as usual. open for business so the market was here first and then they were like yo we're building a train track right through it and I guess they just you know were very stubborn and then re refused to move yeah. well now they probably get even more people coming to it so I guess it's worked out in the long run as long as they don't get bundled have you ever seen a, a tourist just get absolutely truck sticked by the train Oh yeah, because a lot of these tourists are just rocking like a barrel okay. and a half, like a big, a big ass gut. So, oh yeah, you gotta be watching out for the gut. Referee, we got a referee here. He's probably the guy who blows the whistles and tells people to get off the track. Hardo. Wow, eggplant balls. I mean, like the U.S., these things are just schlongers. What is this thing? This thing was fresh out of a Dr. Seuss book. Cactus? Oh. Cack fruit. Frog sticks. Have you ever tried one of these? No. No? I've tried frog and toad, but I mean, the focus of this video is gonna be the train rolling through the market, so. I will not be sampling these today. So how does it work here? Like, when someone's food stall just gets absolutely bundled by the train, is there like a waiting list for the next man up who gets uh, to set up shop and just, you know, rake in the tourism dollars? There is no waiting list as every family owns the stall for life. And if the stall gets hit by a train, we need to pay for the damages as we are on government property. I mean, durian would probably taste better after getting hit by a train. God damn it, I'm gonna get biffed. Holy smokes. It's a good thing the trains in Thailand go like two miles per hour, huh? Fucking nuts. Jeez, the mangoes are getting fucking train juice on them, I bet. Back to selling trangos. New word for those things, because they're infused with train fumes. Oh yeah, trangos. Taste the train. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. Really fucking weird. Holy fucking shit.